sucrose esters promote the crystallization of sugar, and this has remarkable effects in hard panning. The sugar crystals are formed quicker, and this results in a matrix of very small crystals. There are four effects that can be very useful during production and in the coated end product. The production time is shorter. When sucrose esters are added to the spraying solution, the long panning process is reduced by 10 to 19 percent. Sucrose esters make the sugar crystallize and dry quicker, and with all the layers that have to dry before a new layer can be applied, this is a big advantage. The surface is smoother. Sucrose esters make the surface much smoother at the engrossing step. This may make the even more time-consuming smoothening step no longer necessary. The coating is whiter. The improved matrix of crystallized sugar has a whiter color. Sucrose esters may replace titanium dioxide, a white colorant that is widely used in panning confectionery. Even more interesting because titanium dioxide has a coarsening effect, while sucrose esters make the surface smooth. A whiter color of the initial layers makes the colors of the final layers more pronounced. The coating is less permeable. Using sucrose esters makes the sugar coating less permeable for watery and oily substances. For example, chocolate will stay on the inside and colors will stay on the outside of the candy. This remarkable phenomenon makes the use of gum arabic less necessary. Possible defects in the pre-coating will not lead to severe problems in the outer layer. There is also good news for sugar-free confectionery. All the benefits of sucrose esters not only apply on sugar panning but also on sugar-free panning. We found similar effects in xylitol, maltitol and isomalt hard panning. For more information or technical guidance about sucrose esters, contact our professionals at Cisterna.